the greater discourse on deployment mahavihas sutta those who are settled in views who dispute saying this alone is truth do all of them receive only blame or do some there also win praise this praise is slight not sufficient for peace i say there are two fruits of disputes having seen these two one should not dispute seeing as security the stage of non dispute wherever common place opinions there are a wise person does not get involved in them why would one uninvolved become involved when he does not acquire in what is seen and heard those who take good behavior as supreme speak of purity through self control having taken up an observance they settle on it thinking let's train right here then there would be purity claiming to be skilled they are led back into existence if he has fallen away from good behavior and observance he trembles because he has failed in his action he longs and yearns for purity here like one on a journey who has lost his caravan but having abandoned all good behavior and observances and these deeds blameworthy and blameless not yearning for either purity or impurity one should live detached not grasping peace dependent on austerity or scrupulousness or on what is seen heard or sensed running onward they declare purity not rid of craving for various states of existence for one who yearns there are longings and trembling too over things mentally formulated but for one here who has no passing away or rebirth why would he t- tremble for what would he long the teaching that some here say is supreme others say that the same is inferior which assertion of theirs could be true when they all claim to be skilled they say their own teaching is complete but they say the others teaching is inferior having quarreled thus they go on disputing as they each say their own opinion is true if one is inferior when disparaged by an opponent no one would be distinguished among teachings for they each say the other's teaching is inferior while firmly advocating their own and their veneration of their own teaching is done just as they praise their own ways all their assertions would be truthful since for them purity is exclusively their own for a brahmin there is no being led by others no selecting among teachings and grasping tightly therefore he has overcome disputes since he does not regard another teaching as supreme saying i know i see it is just like this some here fall back on purity through a view if one has seen what good is this to himself having gone too far they assert purity by another seeing a person will see name and form having seen it is just this that he will know granted let him see much or little the skillful say purity is not one in that way a dogmatist is not easily disciplined 
one preferring a formulated view, claiming that the good is found in what he depends on. As a proponent of purity, he saw things that were there. Having comprehended, a Brahmin does not take up mental constructs. He is not a serpent. He is not a pursuer of views, nor a kingsman of knowledge. Having known the commonplace opinions, he maintains equanimity while others grasp. Having loosened the knots here in the world, the Muni does not take sides in a recent disputes. He is peaceful among the restless, equanimous, without grasping while the others grasp. Having abandoned past influxes, not creating new ones, he does not go along with desire, nor is he a dogmatist. Released from speculative views, the wise person, free of self-reproach, is not tainted by the world. He is remote from all phenomena, from whatever is seen, heard or sensed. With his burden dropped, released, the Muni, not given to mental construction, does not desist, does not yearn, so said the Blessed One. Thank you.